This is our story of traveling four days into one of the most remote parts of the Philippines in search of an island that few even knew existed. This is the Virgin Island of Cresta de Gallo. Good morning, good morning. We are now boarding a ferry heading to Sibuyan Island, which is a very, very remote island. And from there, we're going to an even more remote island. Basically, this is the main reason we came all the way out here, is to find this upcoming island by the name of Cresta de Gala. Cresta de Gallo. I'm a little nervous because we haven't booked anywhere to stay tonight. There was nothing available online. I checked all the booking websites I normally use and even the ones I don't normally use and there was nothing. So that's a little concerning. Don't know where we're going, how we're getting there. <sighs> Adventure. Luggage is up there? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. We are currently about 20 minutes into our jeepney ride. Apparently we've got about an hour to get into a city that I don't even know the name of. This is winging it. This is literally just showing up, having nothing figured out and hoping everything works out. We're on a bit of a tight timeline because we want to be in Boracay after this. It sounds like tomorrow's going to be a full travel day just to get us to Boracay. I guess this is going back to the roots of the channel and, you know, no glam, all adventure. It's really fun. I'm really excited about it and I have to say that I hope this island we're going all the way to see is worth it because I've never in my entire life gone so far out of my way to see one island, but I think it will live up to the hype. What's the name of this town? Gaijukan. Okay. Okay. Guess what? What? We got a room. Yeah, dude. So that is definitely a weight off my shoulder. So we just took a jeepney to the city that I couldn't even understand what he was saying. But the nice thing is, everyone we talked to is just so helpful. It makes getting around possible, to be honest. There's not many countries where you can just wing it like this and get by. But I gotta say, the Filipino people are just so kind, so accommodating. And we have somewhere to stay tonight. They even turned the bus around to drive us to the front door of this place. 1,000 pesos a night, so that's roughly 20 US dollars. AC, it allows for two of us to have our own beds. Come check it out. All right, up we go. She'll do, eh? Oh, she'll do just That'll fine. do. Yes, lifesaver. The adventures are just getting started. We've now checked into the marble room. Our bags are taken care of, and we just found a guy who drives a boat, and he offered it to us. He had two boats. He had a small one, a big one. Small was 3,500. We took the bigger one because it's got like proper shade and like coverage. So that one's 7,000 for the entire day. And he's gonna take us right from the city here all the way to Cresta de Gala and back. Yeah, it's still Gallo. So basically door to door service from our hotel. It's a little expensive. It's like 120 US for the day, but that's why I've traveled countless hours to get here. I'm gonna make sure it's done right. So this here is my friend. We met each other on the jeepney. He hooked it up with a boat. Brought us to a place where we got rice and eggs. And they're not together, they're just in separate little baggies. Cooking with Las LeBlanc. We're gonna be eating steamed rice and egg in a bag. But on the bright side, this was 10 pesos and this was 10 pesos. Wow, we got a full team today. There it is, boys. Welcome to the boat, 120 US dollars. We've got like a full sailing crew. I think there's four guys on board. We've got a good, probably 60 foot boat. They're blue skies. The seas look pretty calm. This seems like the start of a perfect day. You guys are always asking me how I stay in shape while traveling. The answer is simple. What? Five hundred forty-seven. Five hundred forty-eight. There it is. Land hoy. This is what it all comes down to. Like five days of traveling through planes, boats, jeepneys, tricycles. We're about to experience a place that almost nobody else has ever been. This is a tiny spit of land in the middle of the ocean. Like, there's literally nobody here right now. Except for Tom Hanks. Wilson! 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 I'm so excited right now, guys. This is gonna be incredible. Like, this is why we came halfway around the world, to see unique things. 
here we are. Here we are, almost falling off the boat. What the heck? I look under my foot and there's a squid. This is a dream come true. It is the Gatorade factory. This is where it all happens. Oh my oh god. My. Dude. What? This is crazy. This is insane. I give up on life. It's too much. Mango, peaches, and lime. Sweet life. Sweet life. Sweet life. Sweet life. Sweet life. Welcome to Cresta de Gallo. What? That's so wild. This is where they leave us. And so it begins deserted on an island. So we're being shown around the island by our friend here. What's your name? Yes. Sorry? Yes. Ramiel. Yes. Oh. I've been to a lot of islands, but this is the most beautiful I've ever seen. It's amazing. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. How do you say guapa or ma maji? How do you say beautiful? Maganda. 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 Yeah, it's Maganda. Really cool. We just met the owner of the island. I don't know a ton about what's going on here, how long she's been here. English isn't the best so we're not going to have a full conversation but needless to say i appreciate the hospitality the openness to have people here be one of those day trips i'll never forget <laughs> we're gonna die this is the best thing ever we're gonna die <laughs> at the hands of a dog or the paws the paws of a dog it's a really tiny island but it's basically just one long strip and we've arrived at the very end look at that right there oh. This is paradise right here. It does not get any better than this. Just nothing but white sand, blue water, waves crashing on the shore. There's no litter and there's literally nobody else here except for the one lady who lives here. And there's one little fishing boat over there. That's all you get. There's no other tourists, no other travelers. And I know why. To be honest, it was a lot of work to get here. But in my opinion, I've seen a lot of islands and when you really want to experience something unique, you want to have that moment that nobody else has had, then this is definitely a worthy investment of time and money. It wasn't that expensive to get here. I mean, we flew with Cebu Pacific to Tablas. We took a couple boats across, went to Cebuian Island, and then just a couple little steps later, we got here to this unforgettable island. Definitely a worthy adventure. This is one of the coolest moments of my entire life, guys. So much hard work was put into getting here, and let's just say it was worth every single bit of it. Right now, the sky is about to turn purple. <sighs> this is insane. Today's word is brought to you by my friend here, Ramiel. What is it? Tanga. Tanga. It means stupid. Let's see it. Hey, that was <laughs> some this has been the most picturesque, beautiful, magical day on an island that I've ever had. You got to make the trip down to check out this island for yourself. It's not even showing up on Google Maps. It is that remote. Enough said. Look at this natural beauty. So stoked to have been here. Guys, if you're new to my channel, then get ready for many more videos in the Philippines, many more videos like this. Hit that subscribe button up here to be notified when new videos are posted. And if you're coming to the Philippines, this is my third time here. I've made an entire travel video guide for you. If you wanna learn how to pack your bag, how to avoid scams, the best places to go, all the hidden gems, make sure to check out my five hot tips to the Philippines. 
just down there. Click on that little bubble. It'll get you all set up for your trip. And without further ado, let's get lost again in the next one. Wow, what a beaut. <laughs>